Hi there, welcome to the Nerd Stop. I'm your host, Sean Cordes, the Type 1 Padawan. Today, I have another book review for you. The book is Cosmos by Carl Sagan. Now, pretty famous book. Um, it has, I think, around 36 editions or so, probably more, maybe less, I don't know. Um, Carl Sagan, obviously, very famous astronomer, cosmologist, scientist, and author. Um, I looked him up just to get a kind of a rough background after I'd finished the book, and he had published hundreds of articles, books, things like that, and wrote a lot of science fiction slash science work. Um, very famous, obviously, for the cosmos, the TV show, and the book. Um, so that's just a little bit of background behind him. Um, if you want to look up more, I'll leave some tabs about him and some of the organizations he's been with a part of and things like that but um as far as the book goes um the cosmos kind of covers everything um from our understanding of space time um aliens extraterrestrial life anything like that um is covered in this book um kind of from the beginning of our civilization until the end of it um or what will be the end of it um Key notes that I really liked about this book was his talk on extraterrestrial life. Um, definitely an expert and focused on that a lot. Um, black holes, obviously, I'm kind of my fascination of space is black holes, but the death of suns, things like that. Um, he also goes into things about the different worlds or different planets, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, etc. Um, going into detail about how there might be life on there, their atmospheres, all that stuff. Um, overall, the book was great. I mean, it's it was a bestseller for a long time. Um, still one of the many really coveted um, books about astronomy and space and science in general. And of course, Sagan himself was just a big promoter, educator of the cosmos. So overall, I thought this book was really great. I gave it three out of five stars. Um, I guess to give you some of my kind of critiques on it, not, not, ne not necessarily critiques, but just what I didn't like about the book was um, throughout you'll have these writings with these footnotes on them and it's sometimes the book would be very annoying with how long these footnotes can get um, not that I didn't enjoy them, not that it didn't explain a lot and I didn't learn from them but um, it kind of took away from the reading because it'd be in the middle of a sentence at some point and then you have to go down to a really long footnote um, for my older nerds that are going to read this book, um, definitely try to get a large print if you're going to read the footnotes because it'd be hard to see if you have trouble seeing very small print. Um, besides that, the writing's really good. Um, I really enjoyed what I've learned. Um, it's definitely scientific, does have some math, physics, things like that that are a little bit hard to grasp. Um, like with space and anything else, you're going to have that kind of stuff. So um, that that's one thing where I don't think you can really get away from, but it made the book at some points very hard to get through. Um, sometimes the chapter would be very boring um, in my view. Um, another book that I've reviewed and I'll leave at the bottom if you want to check out um, is A Brief History in Time by Stephen Hawking, which I liked better than this book. Um, maybe because it was Hawking's writing, I don't know. Um, I just generally liked it more than um, Sagan's, but I do suggest if you like space, if you want to get started in learning about astronomy, cosmology, whatever you want to call it, um, check out this book. Um, definitely good. Obviously, um, it has stand withstand the test of time um, and is still very relevant to us um, as a human race and as people who want to learn about space. So that is my review of The Cosmos by Carl Sagan. Um, and up next for you, I'll be, I'm still reading a lot of comics, doing a lot of other stuff, want to make more videos. Um, I'm reading currently Steve Jobs by Walter Isaacson. Um, about halfway through it, I've been really knocking it out, and I want to read it more, so that'll probably be my next review. I'm really excited to do it, and I look forward to hearing from you. So please, get in contact with me. Let me know what you want to talk about, whatever. We can chat about anything. Um, Thanks for watching, and until next time, I'm Sean, and I will see you all later.